Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Fort Triumph and the key was provided by developer. Uh, important thing at the beginning is that the game is in early access. As you can see, this is the 0.14.3.1 version. Very early access uh, and the game has very little content. It has around 5 hours long campaign and endless skirmish. Uh, I did like it, I did enjoy it. The problem is that the genre of the game is the same as uh, Heroes of Might and Magic or King's Bounty. And the game is way more expensive. It's probably four or even five times more expensive than some, uh, well, King's Bounty games, at least some of them. It's even, well, eight to nine times more expensive than some of them. And it offers much less content. It's uh, actually a um, smaller game, even if it was finished, it would be probably a smaller game than, uh, well, pretty much the entire competition. If you look at uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 2 up to 5, or any King's Bounty game, they have more content. And they are probably more complex, so I don't get the price. Maybe full product will have more stuff, but now uh, it is overpriced. But it is fun to play as well. Uh, I'm not going to show you campaign, because, well, I don't want to spoil the 5 hours that you might have. Uh, if you buy just for this first act, it happens on two maps. Uh, in skirmish you will have only one map. I will show you the skirmish instead. Let's look at the settings. Uh, yes, it's in English, uh, maximum quality. I change it now. Actually, I played in lowest, but the game kind of runs uh, a bit slow anyway, so it doesn't matter. It runs okay in combat uh, and on the map. Uh, the loading times are quite long anyway, so I just uh, put it on maximum, uh, fast speed, and the rest is as you can see. This is quite helpful uh, option, locking mouse to window. It kind of helps because you won't click uh, aside, um, well, outside of window, so it, it's a nice addition. And window mode is working correctly. Also, we have sliders, so that's good. Uh, right, so if we go skirmish, maybe if we, before we go skirmish, uh, campaign. There's only one campaign with humans. We might have, um, those are, let's call them trolls, because that's another group of, um, well, units. So we have humans, trolls, uh, I mean, those, those, are, those are undead, those are trolls. And goblins, so four. Goblins, trolls, and undead, and humans. Uh, so you can only play one campaign with this uh, first faction, those are not ready, and for some reason you can choose where you start, no, actually you can't, it starts always in grassland, yeah, you can't choose it, not clickable, yeah, so you start here, you play two maps, then there is the ending, well, location, the crypt, I, I'm not even sure if there is a crypt, I think you just go for one fight into the crypt, I'm pretty sure there were just two maps, uh, and that's it, so it's like 25% of the game or less, if those will be actually campaigns, and I don't know if they will be, but they should be, definitely. Uh, also just one act and two maps, uh, I don't know how many there will be, but this is just five hours. Now, skin means you can pick a faction, which have very similar units, actually uh, that they have the same units, but they, they have different castles with different bonuses. I never clicked this, actually. Ah, so those are bonuses for this. I'm not gonna touch it, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's maybe take two players, it's on easy, I will show grassland, and let's play with um, let's play with those trolls. I'm not sure what exactly um, they are, but they look like trolls, so let's call them trolls. Okay, so play. Now we have loading, it's gonna be quite long, but as I said, it doesn't matter. Uh, it always takes, it takes time, on lowest settings, probably the same. It's probably um, randomly generated, the map, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we have a castle and our a group of heroes. They are here, three heroes. As you can see, they look like, tro like trolls, like stone trolls. So we have four uh, types of heroes. There is a savage, like a barbarian, that's the savage. That's the paladin, a troll paladin. And then we have bowmen, and we also have mages. It's only four types of enemies. And then they have skill trees. And you get new skills, which are quite interesting, but they are always um, they are quite similar for the same hero. You can make some choices, but uh, those are skills for the bowman, those are skills for the paladin, those are skills for the savage. So they are all, uh, always the same, but you can make some choices. So you can have two slightly different paladins, but they will have the same pool of skills. Uh, they also have um, 
one slot for equipment which you can collect there's no real equipment aside from that you can even have two or three of those but it's just one up to three slots for items that's the whole modification you can make of course you get a level as such and most you just get more uh, skills and that's the special power of uh, each guy so this guy is consistent this guy's pushy and this guy is what tenacious yeah pushy right we can push um, well objects uh, i will show you in, in combat so those are the heroes. I think that's it, actually. You can send them to town, but generally speaking, that's the whole thing. We have everybody on level 1. Uh, we'll be able then to add two skills and maybe find some items. Uh, of course, they start level 1. Now, this is the town. And we have to dig. To make slot. Then we can upgrade the town. Uh, but, of course, we don't have something. We don't have university. What we have is... Town hall, which we can make bigger, and that's university. Okay, so this is quite interesting here. Uh, there are small differences between factions. So, town hall is probably the same, fort is the same, university is probably also the same. That's different. So, that's a special building for this faction. Uh, same for tannery, same for magic distillery. I'll just hover on those so you can see. Right, they have some stuff, some uh, effect on your army, which is usually just four guys. And then you have guild. Those are bonuses. So you can upgrade uh, party size, you can have more inventory slots, stronger weapons, stronger armor, uh, more AP, I mean actually less AP usage, more AP here. And as action points, that would be faster cooldown and speed so we can upgrade those so those will affect your army and some of those buildings will also affect your army so right now that's all we can do in town we are building uh, one building to have more money this is money this is magic this is uh, what we get in combat so sort of experience for our guild and then that's the number of people we can have and heroes we can buy some and add them, but we don't have slot for fourth uh, hero, so now we have only the party of three. So they are the same uh, idea, right? This is the savage, this is the mage, and this is another bowman. So only four uh, hero classes for each faction, they're all the same. Right. Towns are different, but people are the same. Okay, so we can get magic. We can get money. You can make fight, but this is hard fight. That's easy fight. So let's, let's make easy fight. Ready for battle. Now let's look at the loading. It's gonna take a while. I'm not go not going to go too much with this game because uh, well you probably see most of it in one combat. So well, that's the combat. Now the game has some um, physics. You could go there, and then kick the boulder. If we kick the boulder, it's gonna hit the skeleton. It's probably gonna uh, go to this obelisk. And you should see chain reaction. See? So we hit him, he hits this, and he's dead. Now that's the paladin. I'm gonna attack straight like that. They for some reason have a lot of HP, that's quite weird. But well, whatever. And that's what? That's a um, bowman. Can we shoot him? Yes, we can try. Okay. You can also go Overwatch, like in XCOM. So this is basically like XCOM, but rather simplified. There isn't that many options, really. Uh, and it's something between Fantasy Fight and Physics. Right, so we have two enemies left. I could attack with this guy. He's probably not going to kill him. Or maybe he will, actually. This is just a 3 HP skeleton. And we can finish this one maybe with another attack. We have two soldiers and one bowman. Okay, so they are also getting experience. This is the renown that we are getting. That's this experience for uh, our guild. So our heroes level up. Our town is being built. Our guild is being leveled up as well. And that's the progression. Uh, enemies will also grow in strength uh, each week, which is very weird mechanic. This is like uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, but you don't have a growing army, so that's strange. Uh, but that's what happens. Uh, this should be easy, just five spiders. We can pick up something, but yeah, we can actually pick up an item. Awesome. 
So let's give it to someone. Uh, power, right? Let's give it to this guy. He's what? Yes, he's this savage. I would go there. We can now skip the turn. And let's check the town. This is basically what you do on time. So now you can build here. Yeah, let's build this. We have armor. That's useful, but only next round. So in this round we won't have it. This is making more money. We cannot build anything. We don't have enough renown. And let me exit. Uh, I would take this. What does it mean? We get the balls. That's good. Very good. And we can fight. Not sure what's this. Yeah, this is more money. Okay. So one more battle. I guess we'll stop there. I think that's enough. Maybe I can level up someone. And probably not. They won't have enough. Okay. So, where is the enemy? I don't know. No idea. I don't see them, even. That's weird. Oh, uh, you know what? We're just gonna go... Yeah, but where? Well, let's go anywhere. Doesn't matter. Right, they are there. Good. Uh, I can't do anything here. So I can just move the another guy. Can we charge them? No, we can't. We can't charge them. We cannot kick anything. That's bad. I could do this. We'll see if it's gonna go all the way to the spider. Because that's a straight line. Let's see if the uh, stone will hit, hit a stone and the stone will hit a tree. Let's try it. Would be interesting if it does. No, it just goes a bit into the water. So that's bad. Oh, I can probably stand on this. It's quite interesting. Uh, right. So I'm gonna go here and we'll do the overwatch. And probably kill one spider. That's the overwatch. We're going to shoot in their round who, uh, when and if they move. I'm gonna take this guy away. And let's uh, let them come. Okay, they will come now. Uh, also, the enemy round is quite slow. So it's, it goes like this, sometimes for a long time. Uh, Overwatch killed one guy. We have four, I guess. They'll just come, probably. Yes, they'll come and hit us for like one. I guess. It, it takes time just to get four guys to move. It's a bit weird. It was definitely faster in XCOM, in the first XCOM. I don't have the second XCOM, but in the first one it was faster. Uh, the combat was longer, but the moves were faster of the enemy. Uh, right, so let's hit the guy. He just one-shot everybody. And uh, that would be what? Not sure. Yeah, I can hit this guy. And then what? I can't shoot because I'm too close. Can I move away? Yes. Can I shoot from there? Maybe. I don't know. Let's move it around and shoot him. You know, the graphics are not that great either. I mean, they are fine, but I wouldn't call them awesome. They're much better in the uh, general map. The general map is fine. It's just like Heroes of Might and Magic or King Bounty. But this uh, map is a bit uglier. But it's still okay. I mean, the graphics are generally pretty good. Maybe too much stuff and it's sometimes hard to see uh, where you're clicking. Overall, it's it's passable, I would say, the graphics. Here it's kind of nice. I, I kind of like those graphics here. They're enough, I would say. Okay, so this is going to make money every day. This guy is probably going to give us something. We can actually visit all, I mean, those two guys in this one as well. So let's click. We make some money. Let's... Alright. So he might give us experience. That's good. We're going to level up. I'm gonna click the other guy, he just gives us a potion. Okay, let's take this and let's see what we got. Uh, I don't see it. That's weird. I don't see the potion. I think I got the potion, but I don't have it for some reason. Very strange. Uh, but I can level up one guy. Whom can I level up? This guy. Alright. So skill, and we can either level up here, but now we can't. So we have to pick an ability, right? So this is how you level up. You get new ability or you upgrade the existing one. All right, so this is an empower. Daredevil. Yeah, he gets uh, stuff next round. 
That's actually something I had on Paladin. Yeah, this is cross class, right? Some are cross class. So they're mixed a bit. This is what I had on a Paladin before. Now I have it on Savage. Alright. So that's the new power. We leveled up. I'm not sure if we have more HP. I have to say. We could check if there is a Savage with less than 18 HP. Has he get more from this? No. Let's see if we have one. I'm gonna check. Guild. No, heroes. Yes, he has 17. So probably get one uh, plus one HP per level. I guess. So leveling improves your HP, probably. Maybe. And yeah, we'd have to just go for next guy, fight those. Ah, actually, we can. Ah, whatever. Nah, we won't. I guess that's enough. Because that would be just an easy fight here, an easy fight here. We got uh, another item from a chest. We got some money. And so it goes. Maybe if we just skip a bit further I'm just gonna show you a bit of the map yes you can have something like this another vial do we have it now we have them weird wasn't there now it's there yeah this is like a, a black hole consistent protection eh, whatever and that is what a mask I never took this one I don't think I took this one knowledge more HP but less evade. Uh, whatever the evade is, I'm not sure what's evade. And that's magic. That's a fight. That's corrupt magic. I'm gonna click a bit uh, more things. Yes, this is giving us magic and it's changing our uh, modifiers in combat. It's gonna be in effect until the end of the week. Let me just not, not take it. I didn't like it to be honest. That's accuracy for the battle. More money. More money. So theoretically it looks like a King's Bounty, but they will grow in power. Let's maybe check it. They have five small ones. One level three, one level five. Let's see if it grows. I'm not sure how it grows. Let's check. And uh, does it grow? It says monsters grow in strength. Yeah, but it doesn't say how. I have no idea how it, how they grow in strength. Maybe we start the fight with C. If they have more HP or anything. I'm not sure really. It doesn't show their level, so I have no idea how it works. Uh, I don't think so. I think the big one had 24. Small ones have 3. I don't know how they grow in power. But it says they do. Maybe this particular group didn't. Alright guys, so I'm going to go back to main menu. Uh, that's the game. And that's how you play. You fight in this fuzzy XCOM uh, battle map uh, with physics and powers uh, that you have. And then you have the big map, uh, the world map that is exactly like Heroes of Mighty Magic or King's Bounty. You just move around, uh, pick up resources and items, you kill enemies that guard those things, and then you fight an enemy castle or you do the quest. The difference between skirmish and campaign is that in campaign you have specific quests, specific locations you have to go and that pushes the story further. In skirmish you probably just have to kill the enemy castle or maybe all, he, all of his units. Not sure because I just mostly played campaign. And that's it. That's all you get. right? So two maps, two big maps with quests on the campaign or skirmish that is endless but for now that's all. And uh, the game overall, I think it's smaller, right? There is one playable faction campaign, only one. Uh, heroes are the same for each faction. There's four factions total, which only different castle upgrades, and some of them, not all of them. Uh, there is quite a lot of skills, some amount of items. I would say probably less, and maybe even less interesting than, let's say, King's Bounty, um, because that had a lot of items, really. And um, the game is just five hours, right? So that's not much. It's fun to play, especially first time doing campaign, but you'll be done in one afternoon. And then what? You could play skirmish for whatever reason, to just have an endless uh, fight like that. You could level up your heroes, you could clean the entire map, uh, win or lose. And that doesn't really get you anywhere. You don't unlock anything, you don't get new stuff, you don't get uh, any experience, nothing passes between one a skirmish and the other is just, just a typical skirmish with AI or well I guess mostly AI and I don't know if it has multiplayer but probably doesn't 
Uh, settings are fine. Uh, graphics are passable. I wouldn't say they are bad, but they are not, not that great either, especially in combat. Um, yeah, it's early version, so I'm really not sure where it goes, this game. Uh, for what I see, I would say this. Um, if you like XCOM, in, if you like Heroes of Might and Magic and King's Bounty, and you somehow get this game, you will probably like the gameplay. But it's not gonna last for long, so that's definitely not worth buying in this state, and I cannot recommend it because of the price. Uh, also, it's less than most games from the genre, especially XCOM, uh, King's Bounty, and Heroes of Might and Magic, which is which it is based on. Uh, so, if you didn't play those games, you should play those games first, especially first XCOM, uh, XCOM especially the whole series of King, King's Bounty and uh, some of Might and Magic games. I didn't play all of them. I played uh, 1 to 5 or 1 to 6. I didn't play the new ones. But uh, those that I played were bigger and better. So pretty much every game in the genre that I uh, was talking about is better, bigger, more complex and so on. Now, will this game chase to the level of those games? I don't know, because they can add whatever, right? This is a access In the next year or two, they can add a lot of stuff. But from what I've seen, even if they would finish what they are trying to do here, I think it was it would still be less, even if it had four campaigns and uh, some uh, somewhat changed um, factions and uh, more differentiated heroes. It would still it wouldn't be that much really. It would be m much more. It would be definitely a better game and uh, definitely the value would grow probably like ten times. Uh, but uh, it would still be less than those games, and they are cheap. The thing is that uh, King's Bounty is very cheap. It's like two up to three dollars per game. Uh, Heroes of Mighty Magic, not sure, but it. Um, I think it's also lending on sales all the time, and uh, even the second XCOM is cheaper than this if it's on sale. Now this game isn't on sale. It's a new game, so it's probably gonna keep the price. They even said that the price might go up when the game is finished, and I don't see any reasons why this would be more expensive or better. It's good, it's the same genre, you, if you like other games you will like this one, but it isn't better. And even this whole physics thing, and uh, well, I, there isn't really much interaction with elements. Uh, Divinity Original Sin did it way better. So whatever aspect you are looking at, there's some other game that did it better. So if this game was more humble and cheaper, and if it ever gets finished, then it could be a nice addition at some point, maybe. But it isn't something you should look forward now. Well, something that you should look at now. Just wait. Wait at least a year. Uh, keep it in your wish list. Check what's uh, happening to the game. You can help them on forum with your ideas, maybe. Uh, but I wouldn't just pay for a very, very early access. I rarely do it. And if I do, I usually buy a game that offers more. Uh, for instance, I did buy um, Darkest Dungeon in early access, but it had three playable areas. And it had tons of content. And then a lot of content was added for free. Uh, and the game was quite unique back then, right? So there was nothing like Darkest Dungeon. Only after Darkest Dungeon there were clones of it. But at this point it was a very good and quite cheap uh, early access game. And then it went a bit worse because they started adding DLCs and went up in price quite a lot. Still a good game though. Uh, this one, I don't really see the reason for the price at all. And I think they are trying to bite something they might not be able to swallow. That's It's hard really to make a better game than King's Bounty or uh, Heroes of Might and Magic or XCOM. Like, seriously, they would have to go crazy with the content and uh, the work. I don't think this is even possible. Uh, but if it ever goes on sale, uh, and if you like other games in the genre, you might want to buy it at some point. But definitely not for like $17. I would at this point pay $1. Uh, if you want to support them, maybe five, at top, five dollars top, I would say. Uh, for what for what content we have now, I would say it's one point twenty five dollar because I usually say that one dollar is four hours, and this game is five hours, so very very short for this genre. Uh, but I did have fun. Yes, I like the idea. Uh, I mean, the, it's really hard to make the world map wrong because many games did it already for like twenty years. And the combat is fine, uh, it's more or less okay, I would say. 
uh, could be more, could be more uh, units, could be more uh, skills, more differentiated, not just four types of heroes, it's not much, but because hero is your unit, you don't have units, you just have heroes, so you just play with four heroes, and that's it, you fight um, to some extent units, but you don't have an army, units are not in your army, so it's just the four heroes, four types, that's all you have, and that's not much, that's just four units that you are using. And yes, they might be somewhat uh, customized, but they will still be th those four guys that you are seeing. The Savage, the, uh, the Paladin, the Mage, and the Bowman. And that's it. That's not really exactly a strategy game, because you are playing with four guys, not an army. So, um, it needs feedback, for sure. It needs time. Uh, but I'm not a person who would pay for hopes and dreams. I get it that they are trying. I hope they are trying. I kind of believe them to some extent, doesn't mean I would just give them a tip and buy the game now. Better finish it and if it's any good uh, in the, well, finite state, it might be worth buying. Probably still not for this price. I would maybe say it's uh, maybe $10, maybe 15 if it's completely finished, at best. But still you would have a better deal with those other games. So I checked it. It's hard to say what the game is uh, just by looking at screenshots because they look quite weird. It's hard to say that this is actually a sort of XCOM clone, but not really because it also has this map from Heroes. Um, it's a nice mixture. It's hard to say what it is. That's why I tested it because I was very curious. I looked at the graphics. I looked at the screenshots. I was like, what the hell is going on with this game? And it is fun to play. But it's not as good as some people might, uh, might make you think. It's very small and very unfinished. And it doesn't have... Um, well, it, I don't think it's gonna grow into something really awesome. I think it's gonna be like 6 out of 10 at some point. Uh, at this point I'm not gonna give it a score because it's just too early. It's hard to say really. Uh, in terms of content to price, this is horrible. This is a very bad deal. But the game itself, I would say it's around average. It's maybe, well, I'm not gonna say, but I would say it's average, generally speaking. It's, it does some things well, it does some things worse. To some extent it's even below uh, standard, but at the same time it's adding those few gimmicks. So we could say it's kinda evens out, but well, I cannot just talk about a game that's five hours long, right? Because, well, I'm treating it as, a, uh, as unfinished pro product. And uh, I will maybe come back in a year or so. I will keep it in my uh, wish list probably. I might get some info about uh, patches. But, well, usually those uh, early access games go even longer in production. So it could be two years. You never know. Uh, I might come back when it's finished. But other than that, I'm deinstalling. I had fun. I had my five hours. It was okay. But it's just more a demo or a testing version than anything full. And it has price. It can be bought now. And I wouldn't do it. But uh, add it to wish list, observe it. It might be a great game in the future. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully cheaper as well. Uh, also, I didn't get any information uh, from developer because I did actually say it in the forum. And, well, there is very little movement on the forum. There was like one post in a few hours and the game was released. I guess, I mean, it is released because it has price. So they should also look at the feedback and kind of react more, I guess. I hope they will. So that was it. Uh, that was Fort Triumph. Uh, sort of 5 out of 10, sort of to some extent, but very early access. So don't really treat it as a uh, full score because, well, it would be a bit unfair. Uh, I would say it's not recommended, but it is fun. And it should be observed and checked, um, well, somewhere in the future, when it's actually finished, if it's finished. So, fourth triumph, and I'll see you guys in the next review.